Hello everybody, it's Patrick, your friendly neighborhood shaman. And we are here on the Cedar River to do Sacred Pipe. And look who has joined us. I don't know if you can, oh. Oh cool, it lets me go closer than my regular phone will. That splotch up there is actually a grandfather eagle. I haven't seen him here for quite a while because there's a group of crows that moved in and they tend to try to chase him away. But so Eagle has joined us, has agreed to come smoke with us, which is amazing. Thank you, grandfather. And oh, here and where we are, you might see it's a little bit different from the normal scenery because this bush right here in front of me that one I'm usually on the other side but when I got here there was more sunshine on that side and I love the sunshine but I prefer to observe it from the shade I am a woodland creature so there was a little more shade on this side not that you can tell right now as I squint into the sun, but hello and welcome. Again, I am Patrick. I am your friendly neighborhood shaman, and I hope you can join me because we were doing this on Wednesday nights, and I got a recent um, schedule conflict and I had to switch it. So we are on Tuesday nights now. I hope that doesn't confuse too many people. And I guess if you're here listening, then you basically got the memo. But come on in, say hi, so I know you're there. So far, it looks like I'm just talking to myself, which is fine. I love myself and I have the most interesting conversations with myself. And I might be a little distracted watching Eagle up overhead until he decides to fly. Up oh, here comes a crow. <laughs> the unfolding drama. Oh, that is a bold crow. Wow, where'd you go? <laughs> Dang. He was too fast, I couldn't, couldn't follow him all the way. As the crow turns. All right, so I no longer have that distraction of watching Grandfather Eagle. I still, because I was watching the Eagle, I haven't gotten myself totally set up yet. So please stay with me. Um, so if you're new here, if you've never been to a pipe ceremony before, I will explain in a moment what I am actually doing. Um, I'm in this one. And I started doing this I've been a <clears throat> pipe carrier now for around four, going on five years, I believe. And I started doing this at the beginning of the pandemic as a way to help hold space and to help hold a higher vibration to bring, you know, the vibration of love 
and light to the community when so many people were going through, well, I mean, globally going through this huge upheaval and everything. And so I started doing it. Well, originally I was doing it on my own every night. I was, I was doing pipe ceremony every single night to hold the intentions of the community. And I was offering prayers that other people were asking me to. Hey, Bill and Jeff. Um, and I just, this is such a sacred space. It's such a sacred ceremony that ironically, if it weren't for the pandemic, I would be doing, I would have been doing these pipe ceremonies in person, having actual pipe circles. But because we couldn't get together in person, I asked permission um, to do it on video and my guides were like, of course. And so I started sharing this with people as a way to help them find a place <clears throat> at least once in the week when they could let the, take the world off their shoulders and breathe and focus on spirit and connect with spirit. And so that is why I have been doing this. Um, and I have two and a half years at least of these videos on my Perching Wolf Studios YouTube channel. If you um, ever need that little boost or you need to connect a spirit, just you can pick one. You'd be amazed at how whichever one you choose um, speaks to exactly what you need to hear. That's just that's just the way spirit works. So anyway, so before doing ceremony, of course, I'm gonna put my hat there. Keep the sun out in my eyes until it goes down all the way. Um, so before we do ceremony, it's important to set sacred space and to create this energetic container within which we can do our spiritual work. Having that higher vibration, light and love surrounding us, the spirits watching over us is what allows us to let go and to put like let down our our armor, our shields, our walls, so we can open up to connect with spirit. So I'm gonna use my old wind horse here. Spirits of the earth. Spirits of the air, spirits of the fire, spirits of the water, spirits of the upper world, spirits of the lower world, compassionate spirits of the middle world, the fey, the spirits of the land. The ancestors of the land. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for holding us in your love and your light. Uh -huh. All right. So, thank you for joining me. Um, I, I really appreciate your presence. I really appreciate um, energy. You might not think just watching this would have an effect, but we are all connected, right? And just your presence brings your energy in and your energy is an essential part of the ceremony. So I thank you for that. Um,
I sat over here because I thought the sun was low enough that the trees would kind of block it and keep it out of my eyes, but apparently that is not the case. So anyway, so if you have not seen a pipe surf been to a pipe ceremony before, or if you're new to, to mine, um, let me do a little tutorial so you kind of know what you're watching, what you're participating in. So this, of course, is the sacred pipe. Um, it was brought to the Lakota people 19 generations to, ago. And I do, a, I lead a pipe ceremony every Sunday in person near here. And I said that, that, that the pipe was given to the Lakota people by White Buffalo Capum in 19 centuries, 19 generations ago. And one of the women in the circle, like, her eyes got really big, like, oh, and I was like, no, not this particular pipe. But the original pipe was given 19 generations ago, and Chief Arvel Looking Horse still holds that original pipe that was given by White Buffalo Calvin. And so when, when White Buffalo Calvin brought the pipe, she explained the significance. She, she gave seven total ceremonies that revolve around the pipe. The pipe is the heart, the center of it all. Um, in fact, the bowl of the pipe is the divine feminine. It's the heart, it's the heart, it's the womb. The stem is the more malleable, the more changeable ma divine masculine, right? So as soon as I put the pipe together, and until I take the pipe apart, it's one giant prayer. It's all of creation, the masculine, feminine, dark, light, hard, soft, all the seeming dualities as one. This is basically like holding the cosmos in our hands. Um, and so once I put the pipe together, that's the time to think your biggest, bestest prayers, call in your biggest, bestest desires, your dreams, your intentions, because when the pipe goes together, it creates a channel straight to creator. So whatever thoughts, whatever prayers are your biggest and best, um, focus on what you want in gratitude, even if you don't yet have it. Um, that's the way of prayer. It's, it's like when you, you're grateful for something that hasn't arrived yet in your physical reality. It's a, a sign of faith that you know that in a future point, um, it already exists in your life. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but a desire in you, an intention, um, whatever your prayer intentions, whatever your desires, etc., that you're feeling right now are proof of the existence in the future of whatever it is that's needed to fulfill that desire. You can't have a desire without having something to fulfill it. So the fact that you have desires or um, challenges, you can't have a challenge without a solution. Um, you just, it, it doesn't work that way because we're in a closed system and so in order to have a lack of something in one place, you have to have an excess of something in another place. And so that openness, that lack, seeming lack, that desire is proof that over here there is something to fulfill that. And so we pray in gratitude. Um, you know, instead of focusing on what we don't want, 
focusing on we, what we do, like thank you for my robust, good health. Thank you for my new DeLorean and, and um, whatever it is. So, um, and the way that the, the ceremony, what the ceremony will look at like so that you kind of understand what's going on. The first thing I'm gonna do is light some sage and smudge everything on my altar here in front of me, including the pipe. And then I will say a prayer asking permission to smoke in this place at this time. And then I will put the pipe together and I will put four pinches of tobacco into the bowl. And during that part, you will hear the offerings, the prayers that I say as I do that. That part is out loud. Um, and then um, White Buffalo Calf Woman, who I just mentioned, is actually one of my guides and has been for close to 15 years now, something like that, 13, 14, 15. And so she's the one I asked permission to video these ceremonies. And um, <clears throat> she said yes, and then she told me, she gave me a song to sing um, at the beginning of every, every ceremony that I facilitate. So I, long story short, <laughs> I will sing that song at that point. Once I put the tobacco in, I will sing that song. It's kind of a power song for my pipe. And then I will light the pipe and I will blow um, breath blessings, blowing breaths of smoke to the four directions, offering the pipe to the spirits of that, those directions, then the Father Sky to Mother Earth, and a circle for all our relations, and then to Creator. <clears throat> and then I will hold the stem to my forehead and the bowl to my heart for a moment of silent prayer. Then I will come back, I will relight the pipe. Now the first thing um, I'm gonna do is take a big puff and I will blow it straight at my camera. And that is a blessing coming from my heart through the tobacco smoke, through my camera, and by the magic of the internet and the holographic universe, that's, that will come through your device to your heart. And when that happens, um, that's the time to pray even bigger and best thoughts and prayers and intentions. Um, so then I will go on smoking and blowing different breath blessings for my own intentions and for intentions others have given. Um, I might sit momentarily meditating and then do some more smoke and when I feel that it's complete, I will say another prayer, um, sing another song, and I will take the pipe apart. And that will be technically the end of the ceremony part. And then I tend to babble on for a little bit longer, whatever my guides have for me to say. So. And so thank you so much again for being with me. It means the world to me. I appreciate you. I appreciate your presence here. I'm kind of, okay, I'm going to take the hat off even though it's a little bit bright. Because we are all connected. You're all part of the same divine being. And so your presence here just adds exponentially to the power that we generate, to, to the power that fuels our prayers and our intentions. So, all right. I'll light some sage. May you walk in beauty in a sacred way. May you walk in beauty each and every day. May you walk in beauty in a sacred way. 
May you walk in beauty each and every day. May the beauty of the fire lift your spirits higher. May the beauty of the earth fill your heart with mirth. May the beauty of the rain wash away your pain. May the beauty of the sky make your mind to fly. May you walk in beauty in a sacred way. May you walk in beauty each and every day. May you walk in beauty in a sacred way. May you walk in beauty each and every day. May the beauty of the fire lift your spirits higher. May the beauty of the earth fill your heart with mirth. May the beauty of the rain wash away your pain. May the beauty of the sky make your mind to fly. May you walk in beauty in a sacred way. May you walk in beauty each and every day. May you walk in beauty in a sacred way. May you walk in beauty each and every day. Oh. Grandmother, Grandfather, Eagle, we send a voice. We ask permission to smoke in this place at this time. All our guides and guardians watch over us as we smoke. <coughs> Creator, Earth Mother, Tawabin, Shonadisi, Magikiwis, and Waboos. There is always room for you in my pipe. Creator, Earth Mother, for the two-legged, the four-legged, the winged, the crawlers and the swimmers, all my relations come smoke with us. Grandmother Moon, Grandmother Ocean, the energy of birth, growth, maturity, the spirit realm and our ancestors, may all the passages of our lives be in harmony and grace. Creator, Earth Mother, to Eagle, Coyote, Bear, White Buffalo, White Buffalo Catwoman, Bringer of the Pipe and the Law of Good Relations to the People.
<laughs> Hello. Patrick, is that you? Hi! What's I'm actually you? doing a live video right How now. Are you? <laughs> nice to see you. Good to see you too. Yeah. My family's here. We're nice fish around if that's okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll <laughs> we'll come talk to you in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Creator, Earth Mother, Earth <laughs> Grandmother, Grandfather Eva, we send a voice. We thank you for our lives. We thank you for this wonderful cacophony of a world. The reunion of old friends and surprises. Thank you, Coyote, for keeping it real. Uh -huh. take us over on the other side of that bush so you can actually hear me <laughs> so that is a friend from I haven't seen him in probably well two or three years he was a co-worker at my day job oh, I should have got my hat at my day job before I got laid off because of the pandemic. <laughs> what are the chances? And anyway, just before they showed up, a coyote popped into my head and I, I, this morning, <laughs> um, I was looking through a book and I have Oracle cards, different cards, tucked into books as bookmarks and stuff all the time and it's kind of like this spontaneous reading like I'll open a book and boom there'll be this card this morning the card actually two cards popped out it one one of them was coyote ta-da and the other was adventure and the coyote one said like celebrate divine detours or something like that 
And so, <laughs> technically we are still in ceremony because I haven't, I, we're still in sacred space. And especially when you're in ceremony, everything that happens in ceremony is perfect. It's exactly what needs to happen. So these wonderful people are part of our ceremony, even though they might not know it. Bringing that, that coyote medicine of laughter and fun and family and everything. So that's awesome. And earlier today, I was moving, I'm moving into a new office. Um, my old office at Four Sisters Holistic Remedies in Renton. I'm actually just moving upstairs. And so today I finished moving all my stuff up to the new office. I still have to organize it and everything. But I was kind of in a hurry because I was trying to get everything moved before um, a class I was teaching at three. And um, lo and behold, as I'm walking through Four Sisters, there's another friend there that I haven't seen for at least five or six years. I don't know if Mercury is retrograde. That's kind of a Mercury retrograde thing. But, um, and so I was like a couple minutes late to the class I was supposed to be teaching because I was trying to catch up with my friend. Um, and so I guess today, today's journey is brought to you by Coyote. Um, expect the unexpected and know that everything that happens is exactly what's supposed to happen. Especially when we're in ceremony, there is no right or wrong. There is no, oops, a mistake or something. Everything happens in ceremony that is sacred and right. So that's a really interesting lesson. And now I get to go catch up with my friend after we're done here. So I probably, I'm not going to talk too much longer. I think that was kind of the lesson for tonight. I don't really have much more to say other than that. So, oh, I left my drum over there. So we will go get my drum and we will release our directions. And before I do that, just to remind you that, um, I am available, I am your friendly neighborhood shaman. If there's anything that I can do to help you on your journey, my, my job is to empower you. My job is to support the community that supports me. And so feel free to visit my website, perchingwolfstudios.net, and you can see what kind of shamanic services and readings and healings, etc., that I offer see what resonates with you and even if nothing resonates if you feel like you want to talk to a shaman get a shamanic perspective on whatever is going on in your life i do that too so and i am your friendly neighborhood shaman i'm friendly i don't bite so um what else and i will um share this video to my facebook page so please like my perching will studios facebook page and as I said earlier, I will also upload it to my Perching Wolf Studios YouTube channel. So you can check that out, see the videos I have there. <coughs> um, and subscribe and like my videos, share my videos, share this video. If there's anyone you think might get something from it, even though it was kind of an, a, a weird and strange <laughs> Twilight zone kind of ceremony tonight. And I also do another live video on Monday nights, Monday mini medicine card readings, where I use the medicine card deck. And the first six people to comment yes on, on that night get a, a personal one card reading. And that also, um, it's not just for that one person, it's for anyone here listening to it, anything that resonates that is your guidance as well so i think that's it 
So check out my website, perchingwolfstudios.net. Um, below I've got um, links to my blog and to my my comic blog. I'm also a cartoonist, and so you can check out my comics and find the links on my comic blog to actually order some graphic novels and such that I have self-published. Um, all of that supports me, and and I'm just so grateful. So I think that is all I have to say for now. So let's walk back over to my drum. And we will release those spirits that have so graciously held in space for us. Spirits of the earth, spirits of the air, spirits of the fire, spirits of the water, spirits of the upper world, spirits of the lower world, compassionate spirits of the middle world, the fame, the spirits of the land. The ancestors of the land. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for blessing us with your love and your light. Our work for now is done, but you are always welcome in my service. Thank you for welcoming us into yours. Oh, all right, my friends. <laughs> amidst this magical coyote cacophony. Um, I hope you join me next week, same time, same night, Tuesdays instead of Wednesdays. Um, and until I see you again, know that I love you, that I see you, and that I honor you. Have a wonderful week. Share the video, invite your friends. I will see you soon. Go shining, everybody. Bye.